Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. My role as Senior Benefit Associate uh, for Individual Sales at Flex will be to review how these changes are going to be affecting your existing and new business. My goal today is to provide you with as many options to help you retain your individual client base with the ability of assisting potential new business clients during open enrollment beginning November 1st, ending January 31st. For those of you that are not familiar with the background of Flex, I'd like to start by noting that our office is based in Rosemont, Illinois, and was founded in 1988. We've been in business 27 years, and we do offer three business segments. Flexible Benefit Service is an independent authorized general agent for multiple carriers and can provide you with services for the small group, individual, and Medicare marketplaces. We will provide assistance with sales, service, marketing, and business processing functions. Flex administers account-based health products nationwide. We are a direct HSA vendor for HCSC, including Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois, Montana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas for both the individual and group market. We provide debit cards, cross-tech technology, access to our benefits portal and educational resources. We will assist with implementation and claims with follow-up by our service staff. Our private exchange and marketplace services offer you the ability to partner with IX Solutions for individual health insurance with access to IX Store for online marketplace shopping both on and off exchange. IX Suite is provided as an employer option through a private exchange as an alternative for traditional group benefits. All options above are supported by our integrated call and service center. As we move into the presentation, I need to clarify that the product info is pending final approval from the Department of Insurance. Blue Cross has given us permission to share this information with our brokers. We anticipate that the plan summaries become available as we approach mid-October. As of today, they are not. Our office will keep you informed through our Flex Marketing newsletters and also recommend that you read each of the news from the Blues newsletters for updates as we approach open enrollment on November 1st. One of the purposes of this webinar is to provide you with ideas on how to approach your clients regarding the 2016 individual changes in network and plan design. We will review discussing the mapped plan option as received by your existing metallic clients in the mail beginning 10-31-15 from La Crosse and how to address clients' concerns and or objections. We will touch on the penalty in 2016 for not having minimum essential health coverage for a minimum of nine months during the course of the year. Then briefly discuss the FFM marketplace certification and Blue Cross product training, uh, that being through Compliance Wire. Let's discuss the HMO, the Health Maintenance Organization by definition. HMO networks were first introduced to the individual marketplace in the state of Illinois in 2014. The HMO network does tend to hold a stigma about the quality and level of service when clients find that their former nationwide PPO network plan is no longer available, but do find with your assistance that their PPO provider may be in one of the Blue Cross HMO plans, a few doors may open for both you and the client. We are obviously going to be dealing with a new network structure, and until negotiations are completed between Blue Cross, medical groups, and providers, we can't make any truly wise choices in network and plan selection, but we are going to work at keeping you as well informed as is possible. We will now move into the uh, portfolio of products, which once again I need to remind you may remain exactly as is or may be slightly altered. Let's move forward with what we have. 
here's the basis for the 2016 Blue Cross strategy um, in developing a portfolio to continue to complete in an evolving ACA individual health market. Blue Cross is in it for the long haul. Uh, the portfolio is designed to control escalating medical costs, maintain our pricing advantage, focus on providing benefit features to a broad base. Copay structures will be changing. Some services will provide a limited $0 copay and limited copay visits. Some copays will increase. Some copays will be removed from certain services in 2016 that were offered copays in 2015. You are familiar with per occurrence deductibles in 2015. Additional per occurrence deductibles will be added for other services in 2016. The major change in 2016 with Blue Cross is the removal of the nationwide CPO network from existing metallic clients and prospective clients in 2016. Remember, cost sharing has been implemented to maintain a balance between the carrier's profitability and growth objectives across all lines of business. New products are being introduced pending final approval, removal of out-of-network maximums to encourage members to select in-network providers, and once negotiations are complete between Blue Cross and providers, you will be able to focus on the best options for your clients by checking on the Blue Cross portal, www.bcbsil.com for provider availability. I also need to interject here that once you do check for providers on the network, I strongly recommend that you advise your clients to call their providers directly, both hospital and doctors, physicians, to make sure that they are truly still in the network of choice. The two HMO networks offered in 2016 by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois will help to contain costs while still providing quality care. Remember, your HMO is only as good as your primary care physician. I only remind you of this because of the stigma that some HMOs have in reference to the quality of service. If the client's current PPO primary care physician and hospital also happen to be part of the two HMO networks, you will have an alternate option for your client's consideration. Introducing the 2016 Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois networks, all available both on and off exchange. The Blue Precision HMO expanded from 2015 and is now available in Peoria and Bloomington as well as the Chicago area. The Blue Choice Preferred PPO provides the ability to find a provider without PCP referral within the network. The existing 2015 Blue Choice network was only available in the metro area. It will be extended to cover providers statewide in 2016. Blue Cross is also introducing the new Blue Care Direct HMO, available in multiple counties, those being Cook, Lake, DuPage, Kane, and Will. We are anxious to view the providers when negotiations are complete. One note that I want to make is that the Blue Cross short-term plan will remain within the nationwide PPO network of providers. Note that the platinum level of coverage will only be available off exchange within the Blue Precision HMO network. These are mapping out the different counties within the state. Uh, the Blue Choice Preferred PPO, as I mentioned earlier, is statewide. And you can see the number of providers that are uh, available at this point in time. Again, they're still in negotiation. But there are 114 hospitals, uh, 30,915 providers in the Blue Choice Preferred PPO network. Um, in comparison to the Blue Precision HMO, which has a larger number of hospitals, but a fewer number of providers. Again, negotiations are still in process. The Blue Care Direct currently is showing nine hospitals and 3,794 providers. And again, this is a network that we are watching closely to see if there are medical groups 
or other pro providers that will meet with Blue Cross and uh, negotiate further. So, one to watch. This slide will provide you with some thoughts on how to position the Blue Choice Preferred PPO network for new sales. Remember that within this network, the blue card is available when traveling outside of the state of Illinois. A simple phone call to 800-810-BLUE, and that's 2583, will provide the member with the ability to locate an in-network nationwide PPO provider if the service is needed outside of an emergency. Emergencies will be covered while in Illinois, traveling outside of Illinois, or overseas as an in-network benefit without need of an in-network provider. Suggestions on how to position the Blue Precision HMO network for new sales. Um, we are anticipating that this network of providers will, in fact, keep costs down, but will provide you with rates as soon as the final approval is complete. Again, primary care physicians, uh, Blue Precision HMO expanded to the Peoria and Bloomington area. Suggestions on how to position the Blue Care Direct HMO network for new sales. Um, again, this, this network is currently in collaboration with a large healthcare system. The providers will be available in the Cook, Lake, DuPage, Kane, and Will counties. The PCP will be accountable for all coordination of care, including required authorizations. Let's begin to review the product changes for 2016. There are going to be limited $0 office visit plans available. Um, these plans are going to be available with one of the silver plans and one of the bronze plans, and we'll go into that in more detail. The limited $0 office visit plans apply to in-network office visits only. It does not apply to specialist office visits. Multiple office visits will have a copay or deductible and coinsurance. There is an exception, which we will address in a bit. This pertains to specific plan designs. As I mentioned, the zero office visit um, copays pertain to a silver and a bronze. Um, and uh, you know, again, we'll, we'll go into a bit more detail as we go into those specific plans. I mentioned an exception as, as far as the limited office visits, and uh, this is this is exactly what I was referring to, the mental health and substance abuse coverage. Um, the mental health and substance abuse office visits, regardless of the number of visits, will be covered. The silver or gold plans that cover at zero or specific dollar copays will offer behavioral health at the same zero copay. Unlimited. Uh, bronze plans that cover at deductible and coinsurance charge will offer behavioral health at the same level. Mental health and substance abuse office visits will always be at the copay amount. Now, this slide will simply explain that on the plans that do have limited office visit copays, the, the treatment for this particular, um, these MHSAs, uh, will remain at zero, but it will have unlimited office visits. It will not revert back to deductible and coinsurance as the other services that these particular plans provide. In the case of the plans that do have copays, for example, uh, if there's an office visit that does have a $40 copay for the first two visits, the mental health and abuse, substance abuse office visits do have to abide by the $40 copay. However, they do have unlimited office visits. It will not revert to deductible and coinsurance. After the per occurrence deductible fee, or fee is paid, the remainder of the bill will be subject to deductibles and coinsurance. 
Uh, the member will never pay more than their original claim amount. The per occurrence deductible applies to outpatient services, not inpatient services. The per occurrence deductible accumulates toward the member's maximum out of pocket. On specific 2016 plans, a per occurrence deductible or fee will be added to these services um, that you see listed. Um, the, the three additional services that will now be subject to a per occurrence deductible are imaging, lab services, and x-ray and diagnostic, as opposed to 2015. This is very important that um, this information is shared with your clients as you do review the new plans once you do have the portfolio and the brochures and applications available to you. Office visit copays will now have services excluded in 2016. For some members, this may be a significant change from 2015. The above services will apply toward the deductible and coinsurance up to the out-of-pocket maximum in addition to the new per-occurrence deductibles that we mentioned in the previous slide on um, some of the plans. Members will have to use their plans differently in 2016, understanding these plan components. Out-of-network benefits have changed in 2016. The Blue Choice Preferred PPO network plans will be experiencing 50 50% 50-50 coinsurance with no out-of-pocket maximum. Now, I've been asked um, how the carrier can do this, um, you know, not have an out-of-pocket maximum, and the answer to that is that the federal mandate only applies to the in-network benefits. It does not apply to the out-of-network benefits and does allow the carrier to design the out-of-network uh, structure of the plans as they see fit. And the intention you have to keep in mind with the with no out of out of uh, pocket maximum on the out of network is to motivate clients to select an in network provider. The two HMO networks in Illinois do not offer out of network benefits, with the exception of emergency services. Educating your existing clients on these um, out of network changes is critical, as I mentioned before. There will be additional out-of-pocket exposure for them. If using services provided by an out-of-network provider, uh, with the exception, again, of emergency. The two HMO plans, the Blue Precision HMO and the Blue Care Direct, will cover ground and air ambulance services in Illinois. However, in 2016, these services will be subject to deductible and coinsurance. And this is strictly on the HMO plans. You'll notice that pediatric vision, um, there is a change. Uh, the vision, as opposed to the dental, is still subject to children under the age of 19. Um, on the dental, it, it has been changed from under the age of 19 to under the age of 21 for dental, which we'll discuss, but I just wanted to mention that definition. Um, the 2016 changes pertain to the HSA compatible and catastrophic plans only. There will be no cost share for frames after the medical deductible has been met up to the reimbursement level. We're going to discuss the standalone dental plans. Uh, there actually haven't been any plans added or discontinued. Uh, the age, of course, as I mentioned, was 19, up to age 19, and now going back to up to age 21. Uh, plan designs have not changed. The Blue Care standalone dental plans are only available during open enrollment or outside of open enrollment when there is a qualifying life event present within a 60-day special enrollment period. Very important to know that. Um, the Blue Care Dental 
is uh, not available to those that are 65 plus. It, they will remain, if the dental plans are going, I just want to stress because we've had many, many questions about this. The Blue Care Standalone Dental will not, is, was not, is not, and will not be available to the senior marketplace. Um, and I do want to point out on these plans that with Blue Care, um, they are unique in the fact that they do not offer a six month waiting period for basic services. So if you do see a little bit of a rate difference, you have to remember that that is, um, that is the case. There's no six month waiting period. There is a 12 month on major. We're going to discuss traveling um, you know, outside of the United States. Um, in 2015, the blue card, or the blue card worldwide, provided non-emergency care outside of the United States as in-network. Qualified health plans will no longer cover overseas non-emergency service as an in-network benefit in, uh, in 2016. So if approached by clients regarding best options when traveling overseas, the recommendation would be to purchase a traveler's supplemental plan in the event of a non-emergency illness or injury. Educating members on this change for 2016 is critical to ensuring they understand the potential exposure. Members will need to understand that some major hospitals are not included in our networks. Provider Finder will be available for open enrollment. You will need to continue to educate members that it is also their responsibility to check with their actual provider or hospital to determine if they are included in a particular network. Educating members on this change for 2016 is critical uh, to avoid that, that exposure. Many members do not understand that they cannot change plans throughout the year or networks unless they experience a qualifying life event or and apply um, within the 60-day special enrollment period. We'll now be going through the 2016 changes taking place with pharmacy. In 2015, the standard formulary list of medications was available to all nationwide PPO network members. In the absence of the nationwide PPO network plans in 2016, the pharmacy will be moving to the Generics Plus drug list formulary. This is a leaner version of the standard formulary and your clients will find fewer choices in the preferred brand category in 2016. Some medications once in the preferred brand category may now fall into the non-preferred category, causing additional out-of-pocket costs to the member. The list of meds on this slide are the meds that will be impacted. Uh, I'm just going to linger on this slide for a bit if you'd like to, to note the drugs that are listed. Again, this is another feature that's changed and very important that you share with your clients. We'll move on. When discussing the pharmacy changes in 2016, it is important to explain the major changes with your clients. The former standard formulary PPO network plans in 2015 will be changed to that generic plus formulary, causing tier change from three to four. This change will cause additional out-of-pocket drug expense in 2016 for those already using meds within the standard formulary tier three category in 2015. Copays are increasing in general for tiers one, two, three, four, and coinsurance versus copay for specialty drugs. In 2016, we now, uh, Blue Cross is actually introducing a preferred retail pharmacy network uh, the preferred pharmacies will be Walgreens, OSCO, and a group of independent pharmacies that fall under the classification of Access Community Health. The independent pharmacy names are listed on this slide. I hope that you can view them. Um, if not, you can always call us and ask for some information. Uh, for Illinois HMO and 100% cost-sharing plans, uh, there wouldn't be a distinction between preferred or non-preferred pharmacies. 
for the Blue Choice Preferred PPO plan, if their tiered preferred copay was, for example, um, 0, 10, 50, 100, and 70 percent, the non preferred copay would be $5 versus 0, $15 versus 10, $60 versus 50. $110 versus $100, and the specialty would remain at 70%. For an Illinois HMO plan, they would just pay the normal copays that is assigned to their plan. For example, if their, pay, if their copay structure is 0, 10, 50, 170%, $100 and 70%, that would be the copay structure at any pharmacy that they choose to go to. Note that this is the preferred drug plan copay structure, so they are actually getting the preferred drug copay coinsurance. The FDA has determined that categories of medications are no longer considered to be FDA approved and are therefore no longer able to be covered by the carriers. This can potentially cause a problem for a few of your existing or new business clients in 2016. The impacted drug classes are listed on this slide if you'd like to note them. The client will need to discuss alternative generic or preferred brand name medications that are FDA approved and in the generics plus formulary list of covered drugs. Again, I'll linger on this slide for just a few seconds if you wanted to note some of the categories as it applies to your clients. And we'll just move on. On exchange plans um, is what we're going to begin discussing. Although not noted on this slide, our office has been informed that the Blue Choice Preferred Silver PPO 104, $3,500 deductible, 100% coinsurance, will be an HSA compatible plan in 2016. We were pleased to hear that uh, there will be a lower HSA compatible plan deductible available to the consumer. There will now be two options offering HSA compatible plans. Again, as we start this portfolio you, I just want to reiterate that uh, Department of Insurance approval is still pending, and uh, these all are subject to slight change. The Blue Choice Preferred PPO Bronze 106 is the second HSA compatible plan offered in 2016, very similar in design to the existing Blue Choice PPO 006 HSA compatible plan currently offered in 2015. I'm going to go back to the previous slide and just go through the deductibles, just make a point of, you know, there are the three gold plans that are available. Uh, the deductible is $500, the lowest deductible available. Uh, the out-of-pocket max is $50,250. We're noticing in some cases the out of uh, the office visit, the copays are lower in some cases. Um, I do want to note that where you do see the blank area, that's in reference to the Blue Care Direct. Those plans have not been established yet or um, provided to us to, to show our broker community. So when you see those blanks, that's the reason why. They will be, they will be available shortly. We're anticipating um, around the middle of October, possibly the 18th. There are four silver plans, as I mentioned. You'll see that um, the Blue Choice Preferred Silver PPO 104 is, it's not stated as an HSA compatible plan, but it will be. There is a, a Blue Precision uh, Silver HMO. Um, the deductible, as you can see, as I'm hoping you can see this, is $2,000. The Blue Choice Preferred Silver PPO 104 is a $3,500 deductible, again, our HSA compatible plan. The Blue Choice Preferred Silver PPO 108 is a $3,250 deductible. This is one of the plans, that, the one that I, it's 103 actually, my apologies. 
This is one of the plans that offers the three zero dollar prescription copay visits. And if you recall when I talked to you about the mental health and substance abuse, um, this would be one of the plans that would have an unlimited office visit copay uh, because it is a zero, they do offer a zero copay for the office visits. The Blue Choice Preferred Silver PPO 102 is a $2,000 deductible. You'll notice that, that that particular plan does have a 70-30 coinsurance level. The 103 has an 80% coinsurance. The HSA compatible plan, of course, is 100, and the Blue Precision Silver HMO is an 80-20. We can, of course, go into more detail when we have the final plan designs and we have brochures that we can share with you. So I am going to move on. Um, we'll just touch on the, the bronze plans. There's five bronze plans, and it the um, the HSA compatible plan is the Blue Choice Preferred Bronze PPO 106 with a $6,000 deductible, 100% coinsurance. I'm going to continue moving on to the off exchange portfolio. The Off Exchange plans offer the Blue Precision Platinum 104 with a $250 deductible and 9010 coinsurance, a max out of pocket in network of $3,000 for individual. Keeping in mind that this is the only platinum plan um, available to you in 2016. And I'm going to just mention again that although not noted on the slide, the Blue Choice Silver uh, 103 is going to be an HSA, or I'm sorry, 104 is going to be an HSA compatible plan. It's a $3,500 deductible, um, max out of pocket, $3,500, 100% coinsurance. In 2016, uh, we do, if you recall, actually, in 2014, we did have two HSA plans with Blue Cross. In 2015, it reduced to the one. Um, bronze PPO006, and now we'll have the availability of two additional HSAs. Keep in mind that with your individual HSA clients, we do have our Flex HSA, um, and it's the perfect opportunity for you to um, allow them to purchase an HSA, if they choose to, through our organization. And uh, please feel free to call us for additional information. The off exchange plans offer the five bronze levels. And again, the 106, the second one uh, listed here, is the HSA compatible, the second HSA compatible plan. Um, and as you can see, as with the on exchange, the Blue Care Direct plans are not uh, ready to be viewed. We're talking about multi-state plans, and I'm just going to um, remind you a little bit of history on the, on the multi-state plans. When in 2014, um, the multi-state plans were available on exchange, they are still only available on exchange, and the purpose and the reason for the name multi-state was because if the carrier did offer these plans, they were going to be considered to be portable. Portable in the sense where if you did move permanently to another state, Blue Cross would allow you to keep one of the multi-state plan selections. Um, the multi-state plan did house a PPO network, which of course is no longer available in 2016. Uh, if anybody does have them, they will be converted to a Blue Choice preferred, I should say mapped over to a Blue Choice preferred PPO. Um, the multi-state plans, to the best of my knowledge, are not uh, portable. They were not portable in 2015. Uh, we're waiting to get more clarification on 2016. But again, they are only available on exchange. Uh, the structure of the plans, as you can see, offers a, a lower deductible, a 1750 on the Premier, with a max of 3300 and 80-20 plan. Um, the 102 multi-state plan, it does have a $3,750 deductible, again, uh, $8020 with a $6,500 maximum, and the 103 which is a $6,250 deductible, $6,850 max out of pocket, but with a $7,030 coinsurance level.
The requirements needed to be eligible for catastrophic plans remain the same. And they, these plans are available both on and off exchange. Uh, you do need to be under the age of 30 or receive hardship exemptions from the marketplace. Uh, they do meet the qualified health plan requirements. It does only cover the three you know, primary care physician visits um, at copay, uh, deductible and coinsurance. The premium is lower, but out of pocket expenses may be a bit higher. Um, if you do need some clarification on what the hardship exemptions are, I have that information for you. If you'd like to reach out to our office, we'd be happy to send that over to you. Um, examples are um, clients that may be homeless, evicted within the past six months, and, and then there's quite a long list of individuals that have filed for bankruptcy in the last six months, just as examples of who would fall into the category of a hardship exemption. And we will share that with you if you are interested. Blue Cross has provided a sizzle sheet which um, is going to be available to you once the plan designs have, have been uh, approved and are available online. Uh, this sheet will provide you with a concise overview of the changes coming in 2016. It's going to provide you with um, um, a one-page view of all the care, the um, not, not carriers, I'm sorry, the um, networks, and um, and it will be a nice sales tool for you to keep with you as you do approach your clients in 2016. More to come. There will be sales kits available to you with brochure and plan comparison charts. Once Blue Cross has received the final approval, you will have access to not only the sales material, but information that would be of value to your clients. The www.bcbsil.com site providing you access to Blue Access for Producers, guiding you to the Retail Producer Portal, uh, providing you with updated list of providers with the new 2016 networks. You will be able to access myprime.com uh, to view the new list of generics plus formulary drugs. In 2016, you will be able to enroll and access the Retail Producer Portal through your mobile phone while on the go. This is a new tool. Um, there's some questions that I have for some of our contacts about the use of the mobile phone. And if there are any updates, we, of course, will make sure that you're aware of all of them. Window shopping will be available approximately on October 18th, uh, pending approval, of course. At that time, you will be able to view both the 2016 plan designs and rates to both familiarize yourself with the plans prior to actually selling product on November 1st. Uh, the, the rates or the quotes will not be available to you um, until November 1st. But again, this is just to give you a bit of a preview. Uh, services are listed on this slide. We are here as your GA, of course, to assist with questions or concerns regarding the website. I wanted to remind you that you can enter your questions, and I will address as many as possible at the end of the presentation or reach out to you, each of you with a response in a timely manner uh, by email. Um, please feel free to contact our office and speak to either myself or our benefit associates, Jennifer Garrett and Amanda Hunt. We will not be able to provide you with a copy of this presentation. However, we believe we will have a link with the recording of this webinar available to you upon request. One of the main concerns is maintaining your existing book of business intact. We'll discuss the options. The obvious challenges when presenting your clients with new networks and different plan designs lead to the concern of your clients going elsewhere for coverage. Our goal is to help you maintain your existing book by providing you with the best strategy when explaining what 2016 will be bringing to the table with Blue Cross. Blue Cross has shared their strategy in making the changes they have, and we are sharing those with you in this slide. 
Uh, there is an effort to contain costs and maintain profitability to remain strong in the market while providing network and plan design options that will help keep the existing members and new clients to maintain their Blues Health plan while making attempts to contain costs by introducing additional cost sharing to the member. Rates will increase. We will anticipate seeing the 2016 rates by next week sometime so that you can assist your clients in making the best decision when selecting the network and metallic plan designs. Note that letters will be sent mapping existing metallic members to a specific plan most similar in coverage to their existing 2015 plan. Those letters will begin being mailed on October 31st. Blue Cross's goal is to keep all of us up to date as changes are made. Our goal at Flex is to be sure that we keep you informed through our marketing newsletters. There's some points that I want to make uh, regarding the Illinois renewals and transition before I move on to the next slide. And that is that the changes, and I need to stress this, that the changes um, in the networks do not affect the grandfathered and non-grandfathered plans. Um, grandfathered plans are those plans with effective dates prior to March 23rd of 2010. And non-grandfathered plans are those plans with effective dates of March 23rd, 2010 through December 31st, 2013. They will remain as is January 1st, 2016. I want to stress that. Those with a broad PPO network will remain as is in 2016. The changes we will be discussing affect the metallic plans only. That being said, all existing metallic members will receive a preliminary letter, and I'm sure that most of your clients have. Um, they were mailed out on September 30th, and, uh, and then they will be followed up by a letter on October 31st uh, discussing the new plan design that they will be mapped to. Um, the renewals, renewals will be mapped. A 2016 plan will be chosen based on a plan as close to the existing metallic plan design. If the client chooses to do nothing, um, the member will experience a passive renewal, and that simply means that the mapped plan that they were given by Blue Cross will remain intact on, or will, will go into effect on January 1st, 2016, with the existing broker intact. Very important, existing broker intact. Um, if the member decides that they're not pleased with the plan that they were mapped to, then the member chooses a different Blue Cross plan other than the mapped plan and it has to be done no later than December 15th to get an effective date of January 1st. Methods that can be used to do this with their existing broker would be a paper app, an express link, or the Stay Blue site. All three methods will maintain the existing broker. Um, I do want to mention that if, if a client does come to you that is currently working with another broker, um, we're not going to refer to that as a renewal. We're going to refer to that as rewriting the policy. Rewriting the policy means that there is going to be a new broker. You do not want to use Stay Blue if you're rewriting a policy, only if it's a renewal. Um, if attaining age 26 in January 2016, Blue Cross will allow the submission of that dependent's personal application prior to the birth date during open enrollment beginning November 1st through December 15th to accommodate the individual plan in 2016. Uh, the member cannot remain on the family policy. Okay, and now we'll, we'll move in to our next slide. Um, and I'm sorry, um, all of the information that I just discussed with you is really um, is, is here, but I had a little bit more content to it. Uh, so we'll go past this slide. And we're going to go into the, um, the renewal plans. The Blue Cross Blue Shield 2016 individual networks, as we discussed, are going to be the Blue Choice Preferred PPO, the Blue Precision HMO, and the Blue Care Direct HMO. Um, here is an overview of the new 2016 networks and how the current 2015 metallic plan networks will transition. Keep in mind that both the grandfathered and non-grandfathered plans will not be affected by the 2016 networks. I'm going to mention something in passing. Um, 
you may or may not have experienced this. I had mentioned to you that this does not affect the grandfathered or non-grandfathered plans, um, but there were some discontinuation letters that were sent um, in error. They were followed by an apology letter from Blue Cross explaining that those letters were sent in error and to please ignore. So if by chance, I just want to give you a heads up, if by chance you do get a call from one of your grandfathered or non-grandfathered clients stating that they got a discontinuation letter, to just let them know that it was an error and assure them that their plan will continue January 1, 2016. Okay. Um, this is basically just a, a timing issue on some of the things that we discussed about the letters going out on September 30th, October 31st, open enrollment beginning November 1st, and getting your um, applications in by December 15th for that January 1st effective date. Okay, how is this going to work? Um, the big question. Um, the initial responses that we've been receiving are comments like, now what? You know, the large PPO network is no longer available. The Blue Choice PPO network didn't offer my clients providers. Will the new Blue Choice preferred PPO network be any better? My answer to that is going to be this. Blue Cross is still in negotiations with providers. The final list of providers are not yet available to view, but should be mid-October. Um, please consider the following when approaching your clients. We need to keep an open mind about the two HMO networks available in 2016. During the transition from the broad PPO network, you find that the client's PPO provider also participates in one of the Blue Cross HMO plans. You may want to consider the option of renewing with either the Blue Precision or the Blue Direct, Blue Care Direct HMO network plans in 16. The HMO could provide an excellent option. HMOs are often only as good as the primary physician. The primary is trusted, referred specialist trusted. If the current client's provider is not in one of the new network structures, discuss with the provider. The member can be candid. Ask if joining the HMO networks or the Blue Choice Preferred PPO network. If not, the member has the option of changing to a different provider. Primary physicians can be changed during the course of the year. And again, this is basically a, um, an overview of of some of the information that we discussed about um, renewing, um, having access to the Stay Blue site. And I just have to reiterate on this that you do not want to use the Stay Blue if you are using the terminology correctly, rewriting. Rewriting is, is taking over the business from a different broker. Um, if that's the case, you do not use the Stay Blue site. You would need to use Paper Apps Express Link. And that's my, that's my recommendation. And that would assure you um, that you would be assigned as the new broker on a rewritten policy and remain as the existing broker on a renewed policy. Some of the, um, the changes, on, again, regarding the state blue, and I, and I can't stress enough, rewriting. Only use Express Banker paper application, paper application in order to become the broker, the new broker. The blue card is uh, going to be available in 2016 for only those clients that have the Blue Trust Preferred PPO network when traveling out of state with access to the PPO out of state providers. And emergency only for overseas. Um, kind of just touching on what we talked about in the, the uh, Blue Care Dental. Uh, the members will now be under the age of 21. Um, Out-of-network benefits will be changing to 50-50 with no maximum, no out-of-pocket maximum in 2016. And of course, the pharmacy updates with the preferred pharmacies and the generic plus formulary. Okay, um, this is basically going to uh, provide you with the website and the reminder that the Retail Producer Portal is here for you to access your book of business, to look at the application status, of course, as your GA. If you see something that does not seem as though it's intact, please reach out to us. Our customer service team will look into it and feel free to give us a call. 
But this is a portal that will provide you, and there, there will be a new training guide that will be coming out. Um, we'll go over that in the next slide. Um, there's going to be a um, migration list that's going to be available um, to see which clients were migrated to different plans. Uh, the report can be exported to Excel. There are there are some things that they're still implementing. They are uh, working diligently at trying to enhance the retail producer portal to provide you with as much information as possible. So we look forward to working with that, and of course we will keep you updated as we get the updates from Blue Cross. Enhancements will become available um, as we talked about. Training guides are being updated as we speak to reflect the changes. We're just going to touch on a reminder about the 2016 penalty. Failing to obtain insurance may result in a tax penalty on your annual income tax return. It would be a percentage of your income or a flat rate, whichever is higher, and that percentage is 2.5% of your taxable income or $695 per adult and $347.50 per child and that would be up to a maximum of $2,085 per family. I'm sorry, I didn't advance that slide. And there's the information that I just shared with you. I'll just give you a minute. Compliance wire um, is still mandatory. The product training for the under 65 product is mandatory in order for you to write business effective November 1st for January 1st effective date and to receive commissions. Um, compliance wire is not yet available because the training would entail having the finalized plans from the Department of Insurance and we are anticipating, as I mentioned before, that, that we'll have um, more information um, later this week or next. So again, I can't stress enough, watch for the blue blues from the new, news from the blues and watch for the flex marketing newsletters. Um, one thing that I do want to share that's a little different than 2015 is that once you do complete your FFM marketplace certification, if you choose to, again, this is a voluntary process and it's only required if you know that you're going to be selling or plan on selling to clients in 2016 on exchange and that would, um, that would of course depend on whether their income falls under a certain threshold and if they're eligible for a tax credit. Um, if you do want to write that business, you would need to provide them with your national producer number to be added as the writing agent and the certification is required. The carriers are going to be accessing the CMS registration list and searching for your NPN number. So you don't have to upload it as you did last year. This is just kind of reiterating what I just mentioned about the importance of completing the certification to sell on exchange and receive your renewal commissions as well as new commissions. Okay, that concludes the presentation for today. Um, we do have some questions here that I'm going to address. I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, I hope this presentation brings more clarity to the 2016 changes being made. And uh, we will move into some questions. And if I don't get to your question, please contact me, email me, call me. Um, our office will be happy to assist you. Um,
one of the uh, one of the questions uh, that was asked is if we have any knowledge.